It's not every day that we find evidence for such a destructive conflict, let alone through our very own DNA. But that's supposedly what happened after researchers analyzed the genomes of modern populations, finding evidence of a very distinct genetic bottleneck. Now, bottlenecks in general is what occurs when a population experiences a drastic drop in numbers, resulting in lower genetic diversity. And that is honestly somewhat common in nature, with even humans having endured more than one, with a particularly deadly and famous one having took place approximately 900,000 years ago due to Mother Nature's shenanigans. But the one I'm talking about, and that these researchers identified, was much more recent and seemingly our own fault. To be exact, a team took a look at chromosome sequences in contemporary humans, and noticed evidence of a massive drop in genetic diversity only a few thousand years ago during the late Neolithic period in the Old World, i.e. Europe, Asia, Middle East, etc., and suggesting that a lot of people died or disappeared relatively quickly. Now, anything that heavily impacts the population could have been considered an answer to this mysterious die-off. Yet what was so odd is that the bottleneck was only really seen in Y chromosome diversity, which is unique to males and passed on from father to son. While in the mitochondrial DNA, which is passed down through females, researchers found no matching drop in diversity. In other words, something had happened which clearly affected a lot of men, but not nearly as many women, leading to the researcher's idea that unprecedented violence may have had been the explanation. Because, if the perpetrator was a volcanic eruption, severe weather, or some other form of mother nature, you'd expect the drop in genetic diversity to be more or less equal between genders, not just in one. And really, a drop is not the best word to describe what happened to the men, as a more appropriate word would be decimated, with the scientists estimating that this event was so horrific that by the time it subsided, the effective male population in Africa, Europe, Asia, and the Middle East had been reduced by up to 95%, meaning that theoretically, only 1 in 20 men survived this purge, with women possibly outnumbering men 17 to 1. No conflict in recorded history comes even close to this kind of lethality by a percentage, not even World War I or World War II. And if you wanted to recreate such a brutal conflict today, then there'd have to be a loss of approximately 3.9 billion men leaving only about 200 million standing. Naturally, when someone claims that our DNA is proof that a terrible conflict happened, you'd expect to find at least a couple of bodies lying around that we could point to as hard evidence. 